got a, uh, we're gonna do, I've got a couple more, a uh, couple more fan questions that came in on the chat. Then we're gonna do a segment called Five First, and then I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> and we can read a couple of these off. If you could, alright, I'll do a couple of these real quick. If you could make each other do one challenge from one <clears> of the Reality House seasons, what would it be? Yeah, which challenge would you do? Without saying it out loud. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Make, reality House season oh, one. Make him do season one. Season one, yeah. So, oh, okay. so, so we're not giving away anything for season two. For sure. Season one of Reality House will be. Um, would I make him do? Yep. Uh, it's hard to think of those challenges. The only one eat I eat the tarantula. I feel like I could do that. I don't. I'm not really afraid of spideys. What would I make you do? I feel like season one challenges weren't that hard. Um, the only one honest. I'm thinking of is the running up the stairs. That one was so <laughs> hard. The, uh, the ice bucket. The ice bucket yeah. one. Ice bucket. The luck. Oh, we also had rotten eggs. I'd make him do that. Uh, no, I'd make him do that. <laughs> that one is probably a nervous uh, one. Yeah, no. just smelling that made me want to bomb. Okay, um, imagine JCS has written, is it hard when there's so many people at home, or is it a better feeling? Referring to the share house you guys are in, I guess. Um, that's not hard. It's different for you. It's different for me. me it, yeah, Chelsea and I, we live in a... a like a separate house on the back. Oh, okay. It's it's uh, it's like our own space. We have like our own living room, washer, dryer, restroom, all that. So we're separate from like the actual main house, which is only a steps away. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, so they have like a different living situation than us. Right. So I really enjoy it because we have our own space. But if I'm willing and wanting to be social or like see someone, just you know walk ten steps inside the main house. That's where Key and Corey and Bobby live. So. Yeah, you, cool. yeah, you walk into the how, club, Key and Bob and Corey. How have you adjusted? I just my girlfriend moved in with me this year. It was the first time for me. How did you adjust to um, living with your girl? I think it was pretty easy adjustment. Um, she's very clean as well, so I feel like it works out. And uh, yeah, it, yeah, I, I feel and the same. We, and we and I lived in a house by myself last mm. year. And she was over Always like the time, all yeah. the time, yeah. so it was pretty much like an easy transfer. For sure, it was the same with me. It was like a lot less of a deal than I thought it was. Yeah, I really, I really went over the top with it in my head. You know, I'm like, oh, oh really? this is fine. It's but she was basically, you know, she's basically over six nights a week anyway, and I'm like, yeah. oh, this is basically no deal. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> tell them about tell them about your situation with Corey. <clears throat> what? The restroom situation. They have to. He has to share a restroom with Corey. Oh, and the public. I, I guess it's yeah. Public restroom. It's it's a it's a. So we have the main house. It's me, Corey, and Bobby. Bobby has his own room and his own bathroom. It's me and Corey that share a bathroom. But it's also everyone else's bathroom. Since gotcha. Bobby's, okay. Bobby's is in his room. He has his own little house. This bathroom is so disgusting. <laughs> and I'm not blaming Corey, but I'm, you know, I'm one person. And then there's yeah. Corey who has all of his friends over. So I guess I'm calling him out a little bit. But <laughs> Corey calling you out, buddy. It's, yeah. Um, the bathroom's just a mess. Yeah. yeah it's, not, it's not my favorite thing. But... It's fun. Yeah. You know, when I had Corey on, Corey's Australian accent was going in and out. It was tripping me out. Like, he comes on full American, <laughs> and then obviously, obviously he's, uh, he's listening to me talk. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because he, uh, th we hear this from other people. He doesn't have an accent. He puts it on when he wants well, to. Yeah, I mean, but if that's the case, still, it was crazy. I mean, like, he was full American when he sat down, and then, like, a few minutes into it, he goes full Australian. I'm like... <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? He's like, oh, I don't know, man. This comes out when I talk to Australians. I guess not. I guess he was tricking me. Not. Ma well, maybe, he's, maybe, he's, maybe you activate it when he's talking he's, in Australian. But he's, I don't know. It's either Australians or or women. A girl will come up and be like, hey. Or when he's drunk. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, Corey. Like, what do you what do you want from the store or something? He'll be like, oh, banana. She's like, huh? He's like, banana. <laughs> I'm like, Corey, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's how I say banana. Little... I'm like, you, all right. You didn't say it five <laughs> seconds ago like that, but all right. But, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so he, he puts it on when he wants to, and it's usually to impress a girl Ooh. or to prove he is or another Australian, Australian to another Australian. Right, mm -hmm. okay. I don't know if this is a cut too personal. We know JC just, just got an apartment with Chelsea. What is Kian's plan? <laughs> <laughs> What's my plan? Well, wait. Let me put, I, well, we got like a small studio like together. It's like, it's like a small workspace, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, so it's not like to actually live. We still live at the house with everyone else. Um, but it was actually a present uh, for Chelsea's birthday. She uh, she works for Depop and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get her a small studio. Nothing massive at all. It's very small actually. and doesn't even have a bed in it. Mm -hmm. She just goes there to kind of work on the Depop stuff. And nice. I wanted to get her that to kind of further her career. Nice. That's the Depop that's studio. Yeah, that's super nice. Depop, Depop studio. Yeah. Depop HQ. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to get an apartment or what? See, I don't know. Everyone, we talked about this a couple of days ago or yesterday. We were all like, "What's your living situation? What's it, what are you going to do after this?" And it's kind of yeah. sad talking about it. But 
I don't know. Whatever. What's the pressure? Is that what? Where's the pressure? Is there pressure to move out, or like what's the pressure to change up where you currently are? Um, Just there's so many cooks in the kitchen where you know. Right now we live together. If one person wants out, then I guess we don't all have to move out. But everyone wants their own separate thing, and so it's just hard to kind of stay on stay on track of what everyone else wants to do. Mm -hmm. Is it easy, did you find it easier with your guys' channel together? Was it, did you find the dynamic better when you were living together or when you were living separately? Together. Together, for sure. Yeah, just easier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I mean, you just walk over, you know, to his room and yeah. just be like, it's, are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, someone's written, opinions of Sam and Colby winning, it, winning the TCA. I don't know if there's anything around that. They won the streamy. Uh, a little bit ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did, did they win, win as well. The, did they win a TCA? I don't think, did they win a streaming? Yeah, they won they a, won a streaming. streaming, yeah. They, oh, they for sure won a TCA. I saw them win the TCA. I, I saw that because uh, apparently they were, sh they, it was like a shock. I think Sam was like, oh, is this a joke? Oh, <laughs> yeah, when they got the board on the thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, that was funny. I thought that was funny, but yeah, congrats to them. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, someone's written, when is Kian's series coming out? I think this would be the one in Finland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's called Californian Commando in Finland or Perfect Commando for the U.S. Or for, yeah, for the U.S. And I think it comes out early 2020. Mm -hmm. I don't know what month or what date. There's no specific dates. Just like Reality House Season 2. But it's coming out early 2020. Is this one of the biggest like, projects you've been a part of in your acting career? It's one of the most... It's one of the biggest in the sense that I was, you know, riding around in tanks. And there was explosions, you know five feet away from me and I don't know, it was, it was really, really, really cool. It was one of my favorites for sure. Right, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, someone's written, was there ever a time you guys thought about or almost ended the channel? Mm. <laughs> you're a as, soon as, I say, yeah, as, you're, <laughs> as you're asking. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not yet, not sure. Yep. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it ever happened. Yeah, there's never been a, chance, a point where you're like, you know what, I don't know if this is working out. For sure, no. For sure, there was no point where, we're, where we kind of looked at each other and we're like, this is not happening. This is not working out. Like, it's going downhill. No. There, it's, it's, we've always been either going uphill or plateaued with kind of our creativity level. <laughs> we're going level down or, together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, there's just, I feel like there's times where the work, workload is like, like we sometimes miss two weeks or something. And we're like, dang, we got to like yeah. step it up. For sure, for so, sure. Okay, yeah. sorry, getting another Sam and Colby question. People really love you guys together. Someone's written, Sam Colby, yeah. Uh, oh, would boys. you do a collab again with Sam and Colby? Um, yeah. yeah, we would I love so. to. Um, we just got to figure out what that is and what that entails because um, we want it to be massive. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I know we've been trying to get them on the reality house, but we want to save that as well for like a massive thing. So, um, yeah, yes, I, we have some plans answer. with Sam Colby. Cool, yeah. nice. Uh, okay, this is the one at you. I don't know if this is too personal. How did Kian meet, is it Ayla? Ayla, yeah. Ayla, how did you guys meet? Um, it's not too personal. Lovey dovey. I met Ayla, it's kind of just their mutual friends. I you know, I know people that she knows and she knows people that I know. And uh, long story short, I saw her on a flight to Hawaii previously before I even knew her. And I saw her on a flight and I was like, wow, that girl's unbelievably beautiful. And I just kind of admired from a distance. And then, you know, month, two months, however long later, we're dating, which is kind of weird. But we kind of just yeah. met through mutual friends. Adorable. Yeah. That's what's up. Adorable. Nice. Met on a flight. <laughs> Stand out of it. Adorable. Yeah. Got creepy from a distance. Um, someone's written, uh, what's, the, what's the best and worst oh, thing? Me to first class? <laughs> yeah. What's the best thing, best and worst thing about being a YouTuber? Love you guys from McKenna. Thanks, McKenna. We love you too, McKenna. Hmm. I don't know. Fuck. Best best thing. I mean, obviously, I feel like we have like a, a ton of people just like on our side with anything we do. Um, so that's cool to just share that with them. And then worst, I feel like a lot of privacy gets invaded sometimes. Mm -hmm. But other than that, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. I second that. I for sure second the privacy thing. Um, I think one of the best things is kind of just like. Feeling like there's like a community or a family, or family, yeah, <laughs> family or community feeling uh, with everything you do, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, this is pretty savage. Who do you like better out of Bobby or Corey? Uh, Feel free not to answer that. <laughs> they both have pros and cons. They both have great pros. And Who's cons. better to live with? Uh, probably Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Corey live with, yeah. But I, I love Corey. He's he's like one of my best friends. Corey. No doubting that. Uh, we love Corey. All right, guys, we're gonna do a uh, last little segment. It's called Five First, and then we'll uh, we'll get you out of here. All right. you live your life. How about that? Okay, Five First. Tell me your first viral videos. 
Reality <sighs> House, I would say, went a little crazy when it first came out. What was for each of you? What was the first video that you put out that just did really well, that nope. kind of blew up? Yeah. Um, I think so? No, I think, yeah. But we started in 2015. I don't think Reality House was our first one. I don't think Reality well, House was our first Well, viral, I mean, thing. like how viral, I don't know what viral means. Like, I mean, just, just in, this, oh, in this context, just the first I have, video that did really well. I have one. We did a music video to uh, uh, a song MKTO. called Classic yeah. by MKTO. Oh, yeah, I remember. And uh, we did that video. And then recently there was a tweet about it that wasn't even like... A fan account of ours they were just like oh you're og if you know what this clip's from and it was one of our clips and it it kind of like went viral on twitter oh, you know? really? As, yeah i think the video went viral that was one, before viral was 50 million views in three hours yeah it went viral back when you know it's kind of yeah, like well. people views loved inflation it, yeah, yeah. Loved we it. back in the day it, it went semi-viral relative to 2015 really uh, yeah nice um okay do you remember the first time you were recognized in public yes I do. Mm -hmm. so I was buying my uh, little sister an iPod Nano, I believe, for Oof. Christmas. This was like nine years ago. Um, and someone came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, can I take a picture with you? And I was like, and I thought they were asking me to take a picture for them. Yep. And then they were like, no, no, with you. Can you take a selfie with me and you? And I was like, why? And then she's like, oh, well, I watch your YouTube videos. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> the fuck's so weird. So I take a selfie. And then right after that, someone else asked me. So it was like a double whammy. Oh, wow. It was weird. Wow. First time. The twofer. And I felt so good that day. I remember making a video, a vlog. And I was like, whoa, this the craziest thing just happened to me. Yeah, and that was, that was when I was still working at Sonic. Damn, all right. I was working at Sonic. Day. That's awesome. What about, uh, what about you, man, back in the day? I was trying to, I feel like, I, I don't remember. I really don't remember, which is bad. I feel like it happened, had to have been at a mall. Um, it's back when at a mall. it was back when Trevor Moran did Apple Store dances, oh, yeah. and I was in a mall with Trevor. And I remember getting stopped by one person in the mall with Trevor. So I think it might have been because of Trevor, but I was <laughs> in the picture. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, okay, and speaking of Sonic, uh, first job. Hey, take him home. First job, Sonic. What's, mm. What is that, Sonic? What? Burgers? You know oh, Sonic? Sonic burgers? All right, I'm not from this country. Never heard Sonic? Uh, not Where Sonic? are you from? Yeah. Australia. Melbourne. Sonic slushies, the drive-in. Right. You park your car. Ah, you, you uh, is it like come, an old school? One? I come out on roller skates, oh, do a 360 for tips. Yeah. It's like Vicky's Diner. That's right. me, baby. Okay. I do a 360 for tips. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Ken? Or were you YouTubing from the start? <laughs> I think I was. Uh, I was YouTubing from the start. I moved out when I was 17, so I got. I never really had a full-time job. Or just any like part time any job. I never had any job. CVS. Wow. I worked at CVS under the counter. I would go in at 10 p.m. and do their vacuuming. CVS pharmacy. Mm -hmm. uh, I would do their vacuuming after they closed, and they would give me like a 25 dollar gift card, and I would just buy cookies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, um, man. I think his name was Kevin. Tell me your. Uh, <laughs> Shout out Kevin. Two more. Tell me your first bad drinking experience. My first bad. time ever drinking. Took seven oh, shots of vodka. Is. Really? Yeah. Seven I started, shots of vodka on your first time drinking. Mm -hmm. How about that end up? Oh, bad. I was yeah. throwing chairs. Really? Yeah. Wow. But not in a violent way. It was more like a funny thing for my friends. I was throwing chairs out my... Uh, it was like I had a big window in Texas. And I was throwing it out. And then I would go and sit in it. I, I don't know what I was doing. It made a lot of... It was and cool. then it was my mom time. came home. You had to be there. <laughs> I, had to be, I had to be there for it to be funny. But yeah. But uh, my mom came home. Started playing video games with my friends. Tried to hide the... Drunkenness couldn't. Yeah. Started crying. How old are you? Uh, I was like, I don't know. I was 18, being dumb. I don't know. Okay, that's a respectable age. Yeah. 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 It wasn't too bad. For um, sure. Yeah. It's a good one. What about you, Ken? My mom was laughing, by the way. She didn't care. She was laughing. Uh, same thing. I don't remember my first bad drinking experience, but I had one pretty recently. It was the day before I left to Finland. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Everyone was around. <laughs> All my friends. I was gonna be gone for two and a half months. So it started off by me getting really drunk and then crying in front of everyone. <laughs> Under his drink. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. crying in front of all my friends. And then later that night, we kept drinking. And then when I got home, I was alone in my room and I just started throwing up alone in my room. Right. That was the first time I ever threw up from drinking. Right. He blamed it on the dog. <laughs> yeah. He's I like, oh, a, that was catchy. I put a paper towel over it and then I jetted off to Finland in the morning. <laughs> What can, what? Perfect execution. It was it was sweet though. He was like you know. Really, yeah. what, so you tasted what, it. What were you crying no. about at the time? 
talking about his crying. Yeah. Oh, oh, he was crying at the pool. <laughs> the pool hall. I was trying. I was crying. We were playing pool when he started crying. I was swimming and I started crying. At the pool <laughs> Is that the pool? Yeah. What were you, what were you crying about? The stuff that you were leaving. That yeah. You no, I was gonna everyone? miss everyone. I loved mm-hmm. everyone. It's adorable, everyone. man. That's great. Oh, I don't cool. think the cry was adorable, but the meaning was pretty adorable. Yeah, he had like strangers come up to him. He's like, "Hey, man, it's okay, bro. It's okay." <laughs> really? Another, another drunk guy. Yeah, you don't remember him? I don't remember that night. Really. He wouldn't really leave us alone. Honestly, <laughs> he was like one of the. He wanted us to like keep drinking with him. I was like, "Bro, it's enough." Yeah. But yeah, he was like comforting you. <laughs> it was like nine. I was like, "Bro, I don't know you," but he was really sweet. That's yeah. great. All right, what a what a heartfelt moment to leave this on, boys. Thank you so much. Thank for you, company. brother. This was really fun. appreciate it. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here, and also be sure to subscribe to our channel. Right right here for new videos coming out every week.